Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat again, and I just have kind of a quick share to uh, show you guys. I am playing with these envelopes again um, that I showed in uh, not my last video, but the one before my last video was my Stampin' Up! video. So um, these are the seed packets or envelopes or whatever you want to call them that I found at Target. And so I've decorated some more of those. And last time I didn't show you because I didn't have them with me at the moment, but there's two different kinds. There's um, the craft colored ones, and they have the seed type and notes, and you're, you're supposed to write notes here, and date purchased, and then, you know, information about the seeds and how they grew and all that kind of stuff. And then these ones have the um, little, um, like, glassine, not glassine, what's this stuff called? You guys know what I'm talking about, the window here to see through, just like the envelopes that have the window right there. <clears throat> so there's two different types that they have, and I get these at Target. And so, <clears throat> sorry my throat is just not wanting to clear today. But if um, you guys are interested in these, like you don't have a Target, just let me know in the comments below, and um, I will put them on my Etsy shop. I um, also found a really awesome paper place on Etsy. It's called Antique Papery, and she's got really neat... Um, digi kits if you like shabby or just vintage or whatever um, these are some of them and they print out really well they're just very pretty very well done I think and so if you guys are interested in that kind of a look you should go check her out because it's she's got all different I mean she's got a lot of them so there's a lot to choose from they are mostly in this kind of a look though you know the antique look or shabby chic or whatever you want to use them for. Um, so that's what I ended up using when I did some more of the seed packets. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because she just has some super neat, super neat digi kits. <clears throat> so I'll show you the ones that I've made. I did put these in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. If not, I'm just giving you an idea to check out and um, you can make your own or whatever because um, those envelopes are pretty readily available at Target as far as I know. So I this is a piece of a hanky here and it had the lace and I just tore it so that there's a little bit of the fabric with the little roses on it. And then this is one of Tracy Fox's, those big cards that are about like that, that have like C chair, that kind of thing. And there's a chair that I got out of a paper pack. It was just some of the ephemera that was in the paper pack and then I just cut out a vintage photo and a uh, little rose and here's a little like card and there's some doily and that's one of the little flower things that I make and then <clears throat> I used the antique papery um, paper in the background. And then um, if you want to you can cut this flap off and that's what I ended up doing, excuse my reach, I'm sorry, um, on this one that I did with you guys the other day. I didn't like the flap and I felt like it would be in the way if you glued it down at all, you know, to try to flip it open and closed and stuff. So I just did like a little thumb hole and then um, put the little card in that we made together. But um, I'm leaving them for now. So whoever gets them can decide how they want to use them because you could also like slip them in a pocket or whatever. And I did little journaling cards for each one and they're all stitched around and on this I did the crazy stitching all you know I don't know if you can really tell on the camera but it's all stitched all over and then this is just a journaling card so that's that one and on the back I just um, stamped a couple of roses <clears throat> and then this is another one that I did so these two will come together I'm doing them as sets of two so those two will come together, and um, this one again, I did the stitching all around, and this is like a little journal spot. There's a doily back here, some lace, um, that's one of those um, vintage looking dress forms, and I did a nap napkin applique on there, <laughs> put a little rose there, and that's just a like a vintage lady head that I had. <clears throat> and then this is the journaling card for this one. You could journal on this side and this side. So lots of journaling space. There's a little cheesecloth and a tag. And I stitched again all the way around. So that's that one. Those two will come together. And then these two will come together. These are the ones with the window. And um, so what I try to do is 
you know, find a way to kind of cover and go down or, you know, something just because I, I don't want it to look as maybe, I don't want to say industrial, but, you know, I just want to kind of give it that softer look. So um, I stitched all on this all over and there's a little dictionary page. This is some sorry silk back here. That's one of those little flower things I make and then a tag and then the image that you're seeing is on the journaling card. So that's one of the ones from Antique Papery and then this this is actually from my Stampin' Up! set that I got this time. <clears throat> um, you got a free stamp set with it this time so anyway that five was in there and it looks kind of cool when you stamp it I did it in this color too it just kind of looks cool but anyway that's kind of fun and then um, some sorry lace doily and there's a little bit of lace back here and just some paper that kind of matches the around the bird and then on the back there's just one rose there so you can glue it down or put it in a pocket or do whatever you want and it's guest check back here you can't see a whole lot of the guest check but that's what it's on um, and this one is the same idea the cheesecloth and this paper have all been stitched together and then it says when this you see remember me and the lady that you're seeing is on a um, journaling card and I've done sorry down here and some lace and a rose and this is Tracy Fox's those toppers for her tags but I really liked that gray color it just looked good with you know all this and the envelope of course <clears throat> and there's a little piece of dictionary page and then this one opens I didn't do any of the other ones like this this is the only one that opens but um, lots of journaling space you know so because you can use the back too so that's that one and I just kinda thought those were fun and maybe you know seeing them would help you guys have some ideas of how to do them if you don't want to decorate your own like I said these will be on my Etsy shop but um, I also always like to give ideas so that you know I know that we all like to make stuff obviously is why we do this so if you want to make your own then you can definitely do that and then today I was in an antique store and I found a few kind of neat things not that they're like so unique that nobody else is going to have them but <clears throat> I did some ay, 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 I'll do that later photocopying of some postcards and stuff it was kind of fun so I'm going to try to make some digi kits over break but just some really old this one's from 1705 the picture I'm sure the actual card is not but it's the lady with the fan but it's it's an old card I just don't know exactly when because that's the only date that's on it so and it says Paris so that one's kind of cool and then this is an old one too from Rome and I don't have there's no date because these ones didn't actually get sent so there's no you know like postage marks or anything and these are just flowers my heart's gift and again these ones don't have any dates on them and this one I thought was kind of neat it's Lincoln's library I just got that one for me because I kind of collect stuff like that and um, that one's kind of cool I don't know what the date is on that one I can't see it but it's it's fun and then the daffodils and I think that one's 1910 so that's super cool and then this one it doesn't have the address here or you know the postmark or anything so I'm not sure but anyway it's a really neat it's old for sure and um, so I was just going to show you guys <clears throat> I mean not that this is earth shaking because lots of people do a lot of this stuff but I'm not super good with computers so but these came out really neat so I can use them for you know doing like my collage tags or whatever and this was from a little magazine I found from 1920 these little folks if you ever find these I would say get them because they have they just have neat images and they're all kind of from the 20s and um, or at least the ones I've found and they're just they're just really neat and then I have these really old um, like <coughs> needle magazines <coughs> excuse me and um, 
they just have some neat images in them but as you can see they're just completely disintegrating so I really want to get these scanned into my computer I just did photocopies just to see if they would even come out very well and I think that they will so I'm going to work on that over spring break because those are kind of neat images and this is more of it see it's just all disintegrating but it would be really fun to collage with and stuff so anyway that's just kind of some stuff that I was playing with see these ones uh, worked really well so I just thought I'd do a share with you guys and you know share a few things that I have found and been using and working on so I hope you have an awesome evening and again if you're interested in these they're in my Etsy shop so and definitely have a look at antique papery and I got this um, particular Etsy shop from um, Roxy Creations <clears throat> who is another YouTube person which you probably all know that but if you don't check her out because she's been doing all kinds of stuff with those too so anyways I will talk to you guys later have an awesome evening bye bye now